Alright, he's making here. This is the kind of exit vlog for today. A uh, little AAR. Um, well, this is going to be the AAR for for riding the bike with the regen on there, uh, with the with the variable throttle regen. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. It's a lot easier to control than off throttle regen. The off throttle regen, I feel like I'm I'm kind of ham fisting it too much. You know, I'm letting the, I'm I'm getting 100% regen all the time. You know, and I you know it's just kind of hard to kind of keep it in that regen zone where how you want it. The the good thing about the thumb throttle throttle is like you can you can control the regen any way you want. Um, if you want half the regen, you squeeze it halfway. If you want the whole dealie, you squeeze it all the way. You don't want any regen, don't don't hit the throttle. Um, it is a little weird. I know it's it's a little weird ergonomically. I feel like sometimes um, sometimes I might I, I kind of accidentally hit the paddle. What I do is I hover my thumb over the um, over the the throttle. Let's get on the bike real quick. Well, yeah, what I'm doing is I'm hovering hovering my thumb over the throttle. Like this when I'm riding, and I got my fingers on the brakes too, because I'm coming. I'm I'm still kind of afraid that the regen will kind of give out, and then the bike will just suddenly just start start coasting all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I kind of don't like. Uh, I've had it. I had the regen. Uh, I had the regen die on me a, a couple times back there, and I think that's because we were on the regen too much. Uh, when you get on the regen, it heats the battery up a whole lot, you know. Um, yeah, so. That's a that's a kind of weird thing, and like when you're riding, you could accidentally hit this. You know, the cool thing is when you're on the oh, it's on it's on right now. By the way, <laughs> when when you're on the throttle and you hit the brake, it uh it um you can mix it. And actually, I didn't really try that too much, um, but yeah, you could uh you could get back right back on the throttle like where you where you were before. You know, I did try kind of do a, like a kind of launch control with it. Basically, you hold the the, the the regen throttle down all the way and you pin the throttle and then you just dump the the brake and it, it'll just take off suddenly so that's pretty cool it, you can kind of use that as like a launch control and, and i and it did work um i didn't even spin the tires all that much so it's pretty good um i did try some new tires out today and they were fantastic man i'm telling you they felt so much better than those trials tires man the trials tires were really sketchy sometimes um so we rode 17 miles almost 18 miles today um, and we got 19% left, but I did charge 10, 10%. So um, I feel that, okay, oh, okay, well, I'm not going to lie. We went up and down that H2O hill climb like a bunch of times. That must eat up a lot of battery. We had 41 miles per hour max speed. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, 41 miles per hour. I think I have the field weakening jacked up a little bit more. So we, the field weakening got us a little max speed on that back, sec that back straight section there. I just pinned it over there. Um, normally this will do 37 miles per hour, so we picked up an extra four miles from it, but we were kind of going downhill a little bit too, so, uh, that's pretty cool, man. Uh, we were, it says there are 10 miles per hour moving average, and, uh, and we were riding for like an hour and 45 minutes, um, so, I had a whole lot of fun. I got to ride the cake bike today too, in the dirt, so, check that video out. I actually really like that cake bike, man. I, I, it was so fun to ride that bike. Um, I, I know I have a, I'd have a hard time choosing between the two. I kind of like the cake bike better because it's a little bigger and it has more power, but it's also three to four times more, more expensive. Um, but you could definitely tell the, the difference in the bikes. Uh, but, uh, I will make a separate video about that. Um, so yeah, I like the regen throttle. I think it's, I think it's here to stay. Um, I have to try out a couple different things. Um, all right. What I might try to do is I might try to flip it over, so put the put the throttle on top. Also, I feel that like I feel like I want to rotate the throttle upward a little bit. So so when I'm when I'm standing when I'm standing on the bars, I can hit the the, the paddle a little easier. I you know I'm not really sure. Maybe we might even want to try the the twist throttle too um, to see if that works also. Um, 
I would think maybe the twist throttle would work pretty good too. Um, I might want to. I may. I may want to buy a Bafang twist throttle <laughs> for this. So we'll see, man. Try different things, but it is annoying having to take the grip off. You know, especially you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to use a special grip if you uh, if you have a throttle on the other side. So um, it's like a, you'll have like a shorter rubber grip is what you're gonna have, and then you're gonna have the twist throttle. So we might want to try that out. Um, uh, as it stands, switching between off throttle and um, as the bike is right now, switching between off throttle regen and variable throttle regen, it's a uh, geez, man, it's it's a pain in the ass, man. I have to go in, the, I have to go within the backdoor app and program all that crap and put make sure I put the right settings in. And then one time I shut it off and then it wasn't working again. So I think I'm gonna shut it off and hopefully it, hopefully it runs again. What what I didn't want is a situation where like. I forgot to right protect the controller. I go out on the trails. I dump the bike and I have to restart the bike, you know. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then the bike that I have a dead bike. <laughs> and then I found out that the, I found out that the the backdoor app you need to have a connection. You need to have some kind of internet connection to log on to it. So, so you could potentially get stuck out on the trail if you don't have signal out there. You can't program it, or you forgot your phone or something. So I I don't like that. Um, I will be ordering. Uh, I will be ordering um, uh, Electric Race Technologies uh, NXT um, display probably tonight or sometime this week, and and then I, I will show you guys how that works. Uh, uh, suppose Alan made that thing so so you can change the settings how you how you want it easily. It, uh, it, it makes it very user friendly. The the backdoor app and the Egg Rider app, man, they're they're not user friendly. I'll tell you that now, man. It is a freaking pain in the ass programming that thing, and you have to know what you're doing. Yeah, so the regen regen throttle worked good. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's here to stay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put off throttle regen back on. Um, so now we're just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do a, a street riding test with the regen throttle to see how it is. As it stands, um, sitting down on the bike and operating it is a lot easier than standing up. And but and but when I'm riding off road, I'm standing up like like 75% of the time, unless I'm being lazy and sit down, you know. So so yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm really happy with the regen throttle. It did overheat the battery. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we heat, overheated the battery. But we did charge the battery and we rode it. I did let it rest a whole lot, though. Um, really, this this battery is just you know, um, it is the uh, is the it's the weak link in the bike right now, you know. And uh, I'm working on trying to get a light speed battery for this. So hopefully that'll be better. Um, the good thing is also when we get uh, the ERT display. Um, it, it'll tell us like it, how hot the controller is and all that stuff well all, all this cool stuff so uh, I'm looking forward to getting it um, I think that's the next that's the next upgrade we're gonna do on the bike we're gonna get the NXT display um, and then I want to get rid of that egg rider man I, I don't like it I actually didn't try any of the the, the, the low power mode on it also um, I, it was all it was all sport mode today um, so yeah, that's uh, so that's that's the regen. I I really liked it. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep the regen throttle now, and I've just have to find a way to make it more comfortable to operate. Um, but uh, but it works pretty good off road. I I liked it. Um, uh, I have to maybe I just have to get used to just moving my thumb to the throttle real quick when I want to use it instead of hovering my throttle my thumb over the throttle. I just go. I just go from grip to the throttle. Grip to, I just have to. I have to. I have to make it. I have to position it in a way, or I can hit it easily if I want to. You know, kind of like a clutch on a car. You don't put. You don't hover your foot over the clutch most of the time, anyways. You just keep it on a dead pedal, and then you step on the clutch. You know, or like the brake. You don't really hover your feet over brakes. You know. Uh, I do hover my fingers over the brakes a little bit, so just in case the regen. Sometimes the regen will give out, like if it's overheating or something, or just for whatever reason. It, it'll I'll lose a regen, and then so I keep my fingers over to brakes if I need them. You know, uh, there's a lot of times like the regen would give out, and then it just starts coasting, and you're going down a steep hill. You're like, holy crap, what's going on here? So yeah, but uh, yeah, the bike did great today. I'm I'm pretty happy with the way the performance is. Uh, I'm gonna do I'll do a AAR for the whole day's riding um, after this video. So this is just uh, testing out the regen throttle, and I liked it. I liked it a whole lot. It was um. It was good. Uh, it's much easier to control than off throttle regen, so I think I'm gonna keep it. Um, I might try, I might try the uh, the twist throttle one. Um, maybe that one would be good too. So uh, we still gotta test the the, the regen throttle uh, uh, in different other riding conditions. 
like uh, like on the street and the racetrack up the mountains and stuff. Uh, I'd imagine that the hardest place to operate that region throttle is out here, off road. So, an off you get into many situations where you're going down a steep hill, you know, and you want to slow down, you know, um, and you gotta you gotta you gotta rely on that regen, you know, to slow you down. If not, you better start get on those brakes. So, it's good that you still have brakes, you know, but. But a lot through a lot of the trails, I I only use the regen throttle. I really, I really put that regen throttle through the torture test, and and it, it pretty much delivered. Sometimes it'll give out, and you're like, oh, you better get on the mechanical brakes. <laughs> but but yeah, it'll definitely save your brake pads. That's for sure to regen, and it's easier to control the regen throttle um, because you can go half regen or full regen um, when you're when you're just uh. When you're just using the the throttle for regen, it's just, it's tough. It's it's harder. It's harder to figure out where it's at. You know, you ba the, what Hazy Mega likes to do is I just like to just let off and just use the full regen all the time. And it's a little too much for this bike. Maybe if I played around with the regen, I have it set at 50% right now. So um, yeah, uh, right now, right now I think it's right now I think it's set at 50% uh, regen. So it's it's only using half of the motor's power to to stop. Um, so, so could you imagine, like, it was, we were going down some really steep hills, and we were just crawling, crawling down it, and sometimes it was just kind of locking up the back, and you're just skidding around, you know, kind of like when you lock up the rear brake, and, um, and yeah, man, it just, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing, um, it's pretty amazing the stuff that we did with the regen, <laughs> just, we didn't use, I tried as much as possible not to use the, the mechanical brakes, and, uh, it was great, you know, it saves your brake pads, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it just kind of works as like a third brake, and, um, and it, you know, it helps recharge your battery, but, but the downside to it, it heats up your battery faster too, so I, I got, I, I did actually get it to overheat a few times back there, because I was using it way too much, um, but, but we were really, really torture testing it today, so, um, I put it through its paces, and, you know, for the most part, it did a good job, I'm pretty happy, um, all right, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that is the uh, that's the AAR for the variable regen throttle. Um, did pretty good. All right, here's Mega. All right, here's Mega here. Uh, so I'm gonna do the AAR for today's riding. Um, how the bike did today, man. And there's not a lot of people here. I think we better better go uh, make like a tree and leave. Uh, so type of thing. So. Uh, so like yeah, uh, I I can tell you well, we're gonna tell you how the bike did today, um, what what we did and what we, what we accomplished, and um, and what really happened and uh, what we could do to make it better. So um, for the most part, I wonder how my uh, my chest protector looks. That's a good question. <laughs> so so today was pretty muddy. Uh, the conditions were really muddy today at uh, at the park. Uh, it, it rained a few days ago. It's it keeps on raining in California. Okay, he's me here. Oh, I, I kind of hurt my shoulder there. Actually, let's go check my back protector. Let's see how that did. A little bit, a little bit muddy. Just a little bit of mud. Not too much, but yeah, I, I did still get some mud back there. This fender works, you know. Let's take a look at the bottom. Yeah, this fender works. It's catching the dirt. We rode some, through some pretty muddy stuff. The plate catches a lot of dirt. Definitely going to need to clean uh, the bike. The shock is pretty clean. This thing helps. Um, so, uh, so the fenders, so for the most part, all this stuff is pretty clean under here. This, uh, this, uh, mud crud fender, crud XL fender works pretty good. Um, the controller is all muddy. So is the, so is the, the horn. And then see, I, this is why I told you I didn't want to ride this bike off road. I didn't want to ride this bike off road until, uh, until I put a cover like this here. Remember I made a video about making this cover. To cover up this gap under the controller here, it paid off having that in there because it most of that, most of the mud and crud and stuff didn't get on the wires and stuff. So all I have to do is just hose that off. Um, yeah, some water will probably get down between the skid plate and stuff, but that's that's okay. We just we rinse that off. No big deal. Um, so it did pretty good in the mud today. Um, with the tires, this these uh, knobby tires. Oh, they're so much better than the those uh. Those Shinko Trials tires. Um, this is a Canada Trackmaster in the back and a Shinko uh, 546 in the front, and and it did great. I, I liked it. Um, plenty plenty of traction. I didn't have to worry about it slipping and sliding. I didn't. Um, 
it wasn't really dry out here. I'll tell you this, when, when the conditions are really dry, the the trial tires, they spin really easily in the loose dirt. There wasn't a lot of loose dirt out here. I mean, there kind of was, but most of it was kind of mud and hero dirt. And those are pretty good traction conditions. So I'd like to see how these do when the conditions are drier. Um, but they did pretty good in the mud. I I was pretty confident riding in like really snotty mud and stuff and puddles. And it did pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. I am pretty impressed with these tires. I will be... The the only problem is like these are really dirt tires, man. You want to use this on the dirt. You don't want to use it on the pavement. These can the Trackmasters also they uh, they wear out pretty bad. Um, I can see they're already rounding off. <laughs> so it's not it's not. You should see the Trackmasters on my KLX, man. They are beat the fuck up. I'm not gonna lie, man. I beat the crap out of. So these don't wear very good. They don't take punishment very well. Um, so far, this Shinko F4, F5.4.6 looks pretty good still, but it's a front tire, you know, it's to be expected. It looks mean with these tires, too. I like them, man. It looks like you're ready to do some, some, um, some, uh, serious dirt biking, you know? <laughs> um, so today we tried, a uh, off-throttle, we were testing the off-throttle and the on-throttle region. That was ma mainly the thing, and then we were testing the BSC 2000, how it rides off-road. Um, I'll tell you something now. It's got more power than the X controller, definitely. Um, I was climbing that H2O hill climb, and this bike had trouble getting up it before. It would just kind of crawl up it. This one, it's got a little more gusto to get up, and then maybe when it gets to three quarters, it has a little trouble, but it just keeps on going, you know. And and obviously the, the better tires help too. They're not spinning the tires as much. Um, off throttle regen was it's kind of it's. It was kind of tough to use on this bike. You kind of have to like kind of milk the throttle a little bit. So you you, you don't want to go too fast. You don't want to go too slow. So you kind of milk it a little bit. You go on and off of it. Um, what I don't like about the off throttle regen is that when you get on it, um, it uh, when you get on it and you regen and then you hit your regen um, cutoff speed, you lose your regen. But but then like if you still need the regen, it's not there anymore. You you. Um, it won't regen unless unless you give it throttle. So you have to do the opposite. Uh, it's counterintuitive. You you give it throttle so you can reset that, and then you let off again to get the regen on. So that's why I'm saying you got to milk the throttle to keep that regen going. Uh, I didn't like that. With the variable throttle regen, you get the regen when you want um, by by giving it the paddle. You know, um, you can you can have regen whenever you want at whatever speed. So that's that's what I like. And and you can it's pretty easy to. Uh, to, to vary the amount of regen. You can go half regen, full regen. If you just want to lock the rear up, just get on it right away, you know. And that and like I said, it's set at 50% re, uh, max regen right now for, for the, the motor power. And it's it's locking the rear up, so... <laughs> um, yeah. So with the 62 sprocket, and we would hit a max speed of 41 miles per hour on the trails out there. I remember we did it like on a top speed out there. This will normally do 37 miles per hour. Um, with the 60 tooth and the X controller. So we picked up about four, four extra miles per hour with that field weakening. So not, not bad. Uh, we got a little bit more speed out of it. That's good. Um, also, I, I, it looks like we might have spun the, the, the valve for the tube. Um, it's because it's pointing this way, and this is the way that the wheel moves when it spins. So, so when we were on the accelerator, it's it's been slipping on the on the rim. So we're gonna have to straighten that out again. Fortunately, fortunately it didn't rip, it didn't tear the valve stem out uh, because we have a rim lock. So maybe we're just gotta tighten that rim lock more. It's it's do I guess I suppose it's doing its job because probably if we didn't have it, we probably would have ripped it right off. The traction on this tire is much better than it is on the on the Shinko tire, and it's gonna it's gonna rip freaking valve stems off. So <laughs> so yeah, I highly recommend you put a rear. Uh, rim lock on it. Um, the front, let's see the front. The front is still straight up and down. Yeah, the front is still fine. I I rarely use the front brake at all. I'll tell you that. It was all regen or rear brake. I think if I think the best combo is to use the rear, uh, the regen and then the front brake at the same time. Um, you don't really need to use the the rear brake anymore because you, you, the, the rear um, basically your regen is your rear brake. Um, so yeah, I, I had a uh, great time. I got to ride the cake bike today too. Um, check that video out. Um, it's uh, I can tell you the difference between this bike and the cake bike um, is uh, it's bigger, it's more powerful, and I feel like it fits my body better. You know, I I, could, I feel like uh, the ergonomics are a little better for me. For me as a 5'10", 175 pound rider, it feels better. 
um, than the light bee. The light bee just feels like it's like too small for me. Um, but it's still, I still like the light bee. I don't freaking lie. But yeah, the the cake bike had no problem getting up these hills, man. Uh, it didn't struggle at all. So I'm hoping, hoping when we, if we, if if I get a 72 volt battery, we can match that power that the cake bike has. You know, um, definitely. So uh, so yeah, uh, we got about 17, almost 18 miles range, uh, um, or 18 miles on the trip odometer today. But I did charge it to. 10% extra more power while we were taking a break so so we can have a little extra power we probably could have made it to 20 that's normally what we get when we ride here really rough um, most of the time I would say half the time we were riding kind of easy because I did I rode with some buddies today and they weren't going too fast and, and then and then ha the other half of the time we were just romping on it and I think that the, uh, going up and down that H2O hill climb over and over again and regen and going down it we, we were really putting it through the ringer man um, that's what really ate up the battery. So I, I feel like if we were just doing some normal trail riding instead of just bombing up and down the hills, um, it, it would, uh, it would last longer. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. That's, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. All right. So, uh, so yeah, I had a great time, man. I didn't really have any problems with the bike, uh, other than like the regen kind of cuts out sometimes and you gotta make sure you, like, yeah, if that happens, you get to get on the brakes, man. I didn't have any drops or falls today. Um, I didn't get injured today, so that's good. <laughs> it's always a good thing. Um, yeah, the bike ran great. I'm pretty happy with it. Even and and with the BAC controller, we got just a little bit more power out of it. You know, it, it wants to rev a little bit more. It still could use a little more torque, uh, is what I'm gonna say. And I think we can get that with that 72 volt battery. Um, so I, I can't wait. I can't wait to get a new battery for this. Um, and that NXT display. So those are the, that's what's next up on the plate. But we will be doing some more uh, some more testing with the Regen throttle. So I'll probably have some videos of the Regen throttle in action, doing different other activities like just riding around the street, or doing some toge action, or at the racetrack. Actually, would like to see how it does on the racetrack. Oh, okay. All right. Here's my go.